Hello, Cosmic Crew. What's up? What's happening? <laughs> you know I gotta be stupid. I'm trying to feel in the energy of the group. I know that we had some new people join today and subscribe. Um, I wanna say thank you so much. It was great conversation on this 24-7 chat. Um, great energy. Excited that that's even there, so I wanted to plug it. Um, gosh, what is the name of it? I'll have to look it up. But just 24-7 chat. So a lot of uh, people that are just now awakening to their truth. And it was great because the question came up, what is intuition? So I, I forgot what the question was before. And... Um, a lot of different people asking a lot of different questions about relationships and awakening and leaving relationships. Um, can what is the hope? You know, if your if your significant other is not waking up, um, questions like that. And the question came up: What is intuition? And you know, that's the simplest question. And it's the hardest one to really explain to others, right? It's also what's been suppressed from humanity. You know, what is intuition? Well, when, when I first think what is intuition, the, the immediate thing is my ears chiming. Yeah. <laughs> my immediate thought is that gut reaction you know that it's that inner voice it's manifest to all of us in different ways which is why it's so hard to explain which is why it was so easy to forget and suppress it The 3D world and the matrix was ruled by your mind. And this... Uh, this goes back to the matriarch universes even that, that were led by matriarchs. Women. Now, the reason that a lot of these, what we would call future advanced would civilizations had at least a woman in, in, a, in a partnership with a man because they're both equally important. But be, the, the feminine energy, the, the divine feminine, the, the unbalance that came on the planet, the rape and pillage of our land, the murder, the wars, the segregation of the people, the sedation of the people through definition, through sheer categorizing, was not intuitive. That was thought, that was mind-led. And what I'm being told right now is to remind everybody, and this, and this is so important, we, we can't get angry at the divine males because they didn't know what the hell they were doing either. We, we were all in these programs. We were all being led. What is intuition? Intuition is that knowing when you're right, when that's your truth, when on a you know on a severe on a severe uh, way to describe it is, I know everyone has these these things that happen. I th I think everyone does. You know where you'll see a glass on the side of the table and that glass is sitting on the end of the table and you didn't even put it there 
<laughs> but you see that glass and something in your brain or something in your, it, it, for me, it's a mixture. We all have gifts. We all have different gifts. So, so this soul, my soul, and this, and this DNA and this physical body, right? Because it's a merge of both. I don't see much of anything, right? I see, I don't have these like pure visions. I, I see it like I can feel it falling. I, it's more like a feeling. I just look at the glass and I know it's gonna fall. And I don't say anything. And then what, a few minutes later, what happens? The glass falls. Or, you know, you just walk into somewhere and you feel an energy that that like oh my gosh i shouldn't i shouldn't be here type of energy or that inner voice that just tells you no and or it tells you about yourself who you are when we read information and you know man has loves to you know want to say that if the whole book isn't the truth then none of it's the truth well that's a complete lie all history is is a man's version of the truth so damn straight not all of it is going to be true but just because all of it isn't true doesn't mean that some of it's not true for you so whenever you're reading through information you're gonna see things that stand out to you and literally will and your reality look different than if i'm reading it because it's meant for you And when you, when you read that and you get that feeling, that tingle all over, or you, you just have, I can't even, you know, again, this was a great question. How do you describe it? Our intuition and our emotions is, is how we are living now. It's how we have to learn to live. So we have to come inside. We have to meditate. And this is one of the difficult things for me. I'm not gonna like tell a lie here. I, you know, Christy the human isn't near as advanced as Cosmic Christy. I mean, I'm, Christy the human's keeping up. It's hard for me to quiet my brain. I understand that. We've talked about hemi sinking, which I need to use more of. I'm telling you, but I don't do it all the time. I have tons of meditations on my playlist. Please, everyone in the tribe knows I have some really cool meditations. I haven't been posting as many, but there's 70 something on my cosmic meditations playlist on my YouTube channel down below. Really cool ones that take you to Pleiadia, that take you to Andromeda, any any of these different lineages that ring bell for you, because typically whatever one you're drawn to is the one you're from. Intuition. Start there with meditation because that's what we had to do. We had to start with just opening up our imagination and allowing our mind to go there and try. And for me, in this vessel, it's it's feeling. I, I, I make myself feel like I'm there. But I go inside, and this is when we talk to our bodies and go inside of our heart and really get the truth, get the answers. Now, when we ask the questions, we get the answers. They might not always come in the next day because a lot of the time as humans, we're not ready for those answers yet. It's a process. I have this t-shirt on today, Legally Blonde, the musical, right? Because Today I kept hearing in my head, life is not a play, life is a musical. Life is a musical that, that we're flowing through energy. As we learn more and more about what we truly are, we are energy. 
So whether you just have awoken or you're starting the process of ascension, understand it's a process. And understand that for you, for each one of us, if we can just understand our intuition and define that one question, that is the process. It's identifying what is your intuition of your soul? What is your soul telling you? What is your gut? What is your heart telling you? Are you doing this for everyone else? Or are you doing this for yourself? Now, yes, we need to take care of ourselves. And yes, we need these avatars that we came here with missions to accomplish. And a lot of it is for some of us involves, you know, businesses and getting the word out because that's how we're getting the word out. But that's not everybody. And if it's not everybody and not every soul is wanting to make this shift, which I promise you, not every soul that came to the planet at this time agreed to make the shift, guys. We need, we need to understand this. We can't. We can't save everyone because not everyone came here to be saved. There's going to be many souls that leave the planet because they want to hurry up and come back for the next generation because this is just the start. We've got a couple more generations until we see complete, complete change because it, cha it takes time. But life is a musical. You know, we see Matrix and we talk about these negative energies. Don't pay them any attention. Just take, take it out of your vocabulary. There, there isn't any negative energies. Because, yes, you can feel it. Your intuition can tell you, oop, I need to walk away from here or oop. What it, what's the alarm? I feel the alarm going off. Where am I? Who, who's around? I need to get out of here. Or, okay, I need to put up a, a, you know, an energy field around me to shield that because I have to be here. Which brings me to the next thing real quick I want to talk about. It's resonance and dissonance. And this is real. Resonance and dissonance with your energy is real. Let's talk about this. As we go through a light body ascension, which, you know, uh, first waivers are fully aware. Most of us are at a crystalline body or have even moved into plasma eat more plasma bodies, which we don't eat as much, we don't sleep as much, our muscles are less dense. It's truly like, it's a galactic human. It just metamorphosizes when you listen to your intuition and you eat whenever you're supposed to eat and you, you take care of yourself and you listen to yourself and you allow yourself to change and you talk to your body, right? These things are possible. But no matter what level you start at, no matter if you are starting with early ascension or you're at plasma, are, it's a different energy field. And so this shift that we talk about, as above, so below, this shift is happening in the planets, this shift is happening in astrology, this shift is happening in the polarity of humanity and the shift is happening literally in Terra Gaia Earth because it's all shifting so when it, when our frequency raises and other people's don't then quite literally you become a mirror you become a mirror 
you become a mirror to that other person. Your telomeres, your frequency in your body, your light quotient, your light quotient is shining. And other people in your field might be drawn to you. Most likely, they'll, they'll either be drawn to you or they will be in complete dissonance with you. And dissonance means you just won't be able to stand to be around them. Or they not with you. And this does happen in our homes. This does happen in our families when we are first awoken, when we first become conscious, when we first realize that we are beings having a human experience and that we've been, or that we've been suppressed in a matrix. When I first woke up, I just kept screaming after I planted Gaia in my backyard. <laughs> And did these chants and had these ceremonies. It was like whoosh. Information just came over me and that's what I did. But right after that. I kept saying, I just won Galactic Big Brother. I just won Galactic Big Brother. And I felt like I had just like whoosh, broken out. <laughs> Literally was births and um i haven't shared this part with sorry had a little edit there <laughs> back to the point you know whenever we see the matrix and they're dodging bullets and it's like <laughs> right it's just energy that's energy flowing at you and that's you looking identifying that energy you see it's coming it's coming right here and you just let it fly past you because you're not paying it any attention that's what I mean by life is a musical the dissonance and the resonance the dissonance in your family, you, we can heal as beings to an extent, but those souls have free will. So I've done another video on this. You know, if you rate, when you raise your frequency, just because we're sheer energy, the people around us have the option to raise their frequency with us, but it's all a soul conversation inside within each of them. And we, and you, we can't force it. So, we have to make hard decisions at some point. Or we don't. Either one is fine. Either one, you have as many angels and as many star families as everyone else. But, I love you guys. Can I get a hoot hoot? Those hoot owls. Those hoot owls. You know, owls got a bad rap. Never really paid attention to owls until my activation, of course, and now owls are my thing. If you see, they're kind of they're kind of everywhere. I have these beautiful Fibonacci sequins. These are my hoot owl owls eyes over here. Owl see in the dark they have a vision of light in the dark we just got to keep our owl lights on we got to remember that we're legally blind and we're living in the musical Keep our frequency high and float at that musical level because we don't want to be on those bumper cars no more or in the crazy house getting the Ooh, mirror. What the hell happened to me? <laughs> right? We want to dance and sing and the stage is set and we're following our intuition so that whenever we approach that stage and we forget in that moment because all eyes are on us, which door we're supposed to open for that person to be standing on the other side because there's only one person standing there under two doors on that stage. 
We know our intuition. We know the answer. We know what door to open. And there's always a synchronicity there waiting for us on the other side that says, yes, that was it. So we got this, guys. I'll talk to you guys soon. Mwah. Bye. Wait, real quick. We love you all of the all of the all for I am not small. I am taller than tall.